In this episode, I will share how to check Google Analytics is working or not. So you will wonder like, is it my local analytics is fire or not? So don't worry, I will show step by step, step is included, I will summarize into actually it's four step, but I will show five step. Okay, the first thing I need to disclaimer here is I'm not a web developer, I'm not a programmer coding, or this tutorial might be touched on only a little bit of the coding, but just very simple and I can show you the example. This is more focused to find the careless mistake you make in the configuration or whatever. What you need to check Google Analytics working or not, I would say first thing, of course, you need Google Analytics access, at least the admin level, the edit setting. Second thing, you need to install the tech assistant a chrome extension by google i will link this link at the description youtube below optional is another chrome extension called google analytic debugger so this one if you need to use this is like i will consider this is the more developer stuff step one let's go into google analytic and check all the configuration the setting so in this example i will use the google emergent store as example for google analytic so the first step I would say is that you go to real time, click the overview, then you can check is it this is the traffic is the normal for you, then you can check is it per second the top active page. So you can check everything, is it the you sign you currently at the home page and then how many. So my suggestion is like you want to check is it working or not. You can go into maybe some random, very rare page just so you can go, you click into there then definitely after that you can know or oh, is it working or not fire or not because this is the real time this is what i love about google analytics next i will check you go to the admin view then the third one you call filters okay you click you just to check is it you've create or maybe your colleague create something like very funny filter like block your ip or whatever host name so just to have a look is it everything is okay so if nothing else then let's go to another step back to the admin panel i know this is very funny it's like sometimes because like actually one account you can like contain so many property is it you look at the correct property or not sometimes not experienced marketer that will just copy and paste that didn't like rename this the google merchandise store maybe you like google merchandise store one they forget like to rename under so they didn't like ignore is it the correct property tag or not so just to make sure like you look at the correct property step two i will use the tag assistant the chrome extension to check the errors so after you install tag assistant i will advise you're going to click into setting here the auto validation set into on so it will forever like click the here okay you need to check result of tech analysis so it will check is it the tech manager the good analytic got error or not so by default let's say i check the good analytic tech so you can check from here is it this is the right web property id is it the correct or maybe you paste strong so the analytics is didn't working if you see from here is that like where to optimize it will say like non-standard implementations another thing is that like i will say this is very useful like click this more info so you can learn more about is it invalid missing maybe it will like many examples here so this is like give some clue about is it you like your code you didn't like insert at the body and then maybe the footer or whatever way so this is another good way and then you can just click one here you can have a glance like one through of course the green color is the best so it like fire everything is the normal then you can check the code is it correct the tech manager code okay in mind if you see like red color here you can always just click here the more info to find out what's the problems and then from there you can continue to debug and then to solve the problem step three let's go into the tracking code checking if you use hard coded method install the google analytic tracking code into your team or your website you need to like really use a little bit like this view page source and then just find ua something to check is it the code is working or not so from this example actually as using my tag manager so i was check is it i paste the at the correct position or not and then this is my tag manager property or not so you might wonder like maybe after you paste it correctly but after that you check from the view source become like suddenly error so make sure you view source and then check everything and then another thing is i remind is 
make sure the tracking code ID is correct. So maybe like this one, like you miss the dash one, so everything will be wrong. Then I suggest instead of using the old analytic js the old website tracking code for analytic please use the global site tab if you want to pass the code to a developer or the, the website designer make sure you copy this like paste into the plain text and then don't like paste into the word because even the space far the small dash it will like cause some issue if you use google tag manager to install google analytic which is i highly recommend make sure like okay you click the preview first so they can like enable the google tag manager debug mode after you enable the previewing workspace so go into here your website and then refresh so you will have like something the white additional white bar from here so you can like see like here my tag file on this page is analytic you erase the analytic fire one time so it's like clearly is firing something but it's not end here you go to tab manager make sure like analytic the code here especially the tracking code is id is correct so i here i create another constant variable for this tracking id then we check again is it the, the tracking id is the correct tracking id from here after that you refresh and then if you check everything remember to submit and then just repeat the step see from here analytic correct or not and then using your tech assistant to check as well next is about plugins so if you use wordpress and then like in some what reason you may like using install whatever the good analytic plugin now which is i not really recommend but maybe it's useful for beginner because the more plugin you install it will causing more issue like taking it all RAMs and then your speed make sure you install like the highly review like already like 1 million installation because the more people install it will like maybe more stable and then another thing is like always read the full documentation to know the right step to install everything you might want to like turn off few plugins just don't want to crash the analytic code so just try that step 4 is check your google chrome extension for information is like really have one chrome extension called block yourself from analytics so install this like you can install insert whatever url you want to block yourself so it will literally this plugin will block to send anything to google analytics so easy you install this and then add it to chrome and then so that analytic tracking didn't fire second point i would like highlight is like easy you install too many plugins like me but don't worry if you re you really need to install so many plugins what you can do is just don't enable it i've experienced like you install too many plugins and then you enable at all it's like it will cause some crashing and interaction so it might be one some of the extension like cause the issue for your tracking code so just disable all and then to check again step five or the last step i would say get help before you ask help from others is i would suggest that like, you show them what you already done step one and they take to assistant and then tracking code checking you did try your best and then disable extension but the tracking code got problems or issue about the analytic and then you show them the log file to them so then they can like repeat the same step as you to follow i would suggest like uh, please ask the, the, the experienced web developer programmer to check and verify maybe optionally you need to ask the original vendor developer or agent your agent to help to check the tracking code why is it not firing normally so i hope this just short five step to help you to check your Google analytic working or not so you might want oh maybe i missed this step or this configuration is wrong so suddenly your analytic become code or maybe you already know some step in my tutorial above like you already show maybe some configuration has some issue and wrong and suddenly you already solve the analytic is back to normal don't forget to subscribe my channels and then to leave some comments then remember to ask me anything if like you really think this what is the next topic i should cover happy tracking